A piece of land in the shape of a trapezium is drawn on a map using the scale 1 is to 500. The parallel sides are 5 centimeters and 2 centimeters, while the perpendicular distance between parallel sides is 4 centimeters. What is the actual area of the plot in meters squared? What is the area of what is the actual area of the plot in meters squared? Now we have a trapezium, okay? We have our trapezium. Okay. Now, these two are parallel. And we are told one is, the parallel sides are 5 and 2 centimeters. While the perpendicular distance, meaning the distance between the two parallel sides is four centimeters. Now, what is the actual area of the trapezium? What is the actual area of the trapezium or the plot? What does it mean by one is to 500? It means when you measure, okay, on that map, assuming you've measured a distance of one centimeter, then the actual distance is going to be 500 times what you have, you have measured. If you've measured one centimeter on the diagram or on the map, the actual distance will be times 500. If on the diagram or on the map you have measured 3 meters, 3 meters, then the actual distance will be multiplied by 500. That is what it means. Whatever, whatever measurement you're going to use, the actual distance is multiplied by 500. So, if you've got 1 centimeter, the actual distance will be times 500 will be 500. If you have got 2 centimeters, then the actual distance will be 2 centimeters multiplied by 500, which will give us 1,000 centimeters. If you have measured and you have found that one side is 3 centimeters, then the actual distance will be 3 centimeters multiplied by 500 times. That will be now 3 times 500, which will be 1,500 centimeters. Okay? So, whatever distance you're going to get, multiply by 500 to get the true distance or the actual distance. Now, let us get the actual distance for this side, the actual distance for this side, and the actual distance for this side. So, the actual distance for this side is going to be multiplied by 500. Okay? which is going to be 2 times 5 is 10, and then we have 2 zeros, 1,000 centimeters. This side, likewise, multiplied by 500, which will give us 5 times 5 is 25, and then we have 2 zeros, 1, 2 centimeters. And this side here, multiplied by 500, which will give us 4 times 5 is 20, and then 1, 2, 1, 2. Okay, so the actual distance, this side, is 2 centimeters times 500, because 1 is to 500. Multiplied by 500, which will give us 1,000. The actual distance here, the perpendicular distance, is 4 centimeters. Multiply by 500, which will give us 2,000 centimeters. This is the actual, this is the, uh, drawn on, on a map. On the map, on the map, okay, it is 4 centimeters. But the actual is multiplied by 500, which will give us 2,000. Again, this side, on the map, it is 5 centimeters. But actual, 
it is multiplied by 500. That is what it is meant by 1 is to 500. Okay? So now we have got our actual distances. But remember, we are using centimeters, eh? Because we are given centimeters, 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 and uh, yeah, here, centimeters. And that is why, even after multiplying the effect funded, our answer is still in centimeters. Answer is in centimeters, and answer is in centimeters. We are not told that one centimeter represents 500 meters. No. We are not told that one centimeter represents one kilometer. No. Okay? We are just told whatever measurement you are going to use, multiply by 500 to get the actual measurement. Okay? So now, uh, they want the area but in meters squared. They want the area but in meters squared. So the best thing to do is let us change all the measurements to meters, from centimeters to meters. So, how many, how many centimeters make one meter? 100 centimeters make one meter. So, we need to divide by 100. Okay? So, divide by 100, two zeros, two zeros. So, we have 10 meters. Here also, divide by 100, two zeros, two zeros. So, we have 20 meters. Okay? 20 meters. Here likewise, divide by 100, two zeros, two zeros. So we have 25 meters. Now we can get the area of the plot. Now how do we get area of a trapezium? Area is equal to a half, okay, multiplied by A plus B multiplied by height. A is this side and B is this side. And H is this one. The perpendicular distance between the two parallel sides. So this is going to be a half. Inside the bracket, uh, we have 10 plus. Down here we have 25. And height is uh, how much? 20. So 10 plus 25 will give us 35, okay? And we're going to have, when we'll open up the bracket, a half multiplied by 35 multiplied by 20, okay? So by two ones, by two, 10. And 35 multiplied by 10 is 300 and 50 meters square. This is the area of the plot, okay, in meters square. <coughs> and that will be now, see, 